Hello folks, and well, here we are with Skistir, and that is because we've got some more apples to move. And as you can see, we are in June now, well into June, actually just over the halfway mark, and we do have a busy week ahead of us, actually just fair enough, a busy rest of the half of the month. That's because we've got a few things to sell, we've got our lint seed to sell, not lint seed, every time I guess that makes up, fill beans to sell. Also, we got our apple juices to sell, because they are being, I'll say juicing quite a bit. So what I do now is do some clips of us getting some more money via do contracts. I did this in the last episode we was gonna do some contracts, so yeah. What's what you did? I'm gonna do some clips and then we'll go from there. And as we get a worker taking that Uber, what we need to do now is hop into our vent. Uh, where do I leave that to? Ah, uh, over here. So yeah, we've been busy, done a fair few contracts, and had some technical difficulties with some issues with what I think I bought it down to the Massey Ferguson we had. Uh, just with the whole game crashes we've been having in that. Maybe it was a conflict with the Massey with another mod, I don't know. But with that mod no longer here, touch was so far. We played around for a bit, then a bit of non save gameplay working out and just mess around. And it crashes at the moment, so. But we still have the Massey, technically. We basically got a got a replacement from the dealership because the other one was buggy and faulty and it was a quite a brand new one it was second hand but a new model uh, this year's model or last year's model we got it actually but so yeah, they basically gave us as an exchange a cylinder Massey same horsepower around the 325 ish mark I think it was it is a larger chassis but a older model so I'll take that uh, with what I can so I'm not too fussed on that. At the end of the day it's our Massey basically in essence just on a larger frame and all that stuff so, so yeah overall I'm not too worried. But yeah so now it's time to sell the field beans. So we need to go to fill beans. 60,000 litres. And uh, if we look at the prices at the moment. Ooh, it's 4,800 at town stores and going down. So it's above the average. Garden centre is 4,700. So that may go up a bit more. I'm not sure, but... So you yeah, have 4,800 at town stores. That ain't a half bad deal, so... Stop there because you're gone past where I sent you to. But yeah, so we got 60,000 litres. And you go to the store. So yeah, let's go to the store and sell the fill beans. Let's do a bit of a wrap around here, but it's worth it. Go 
turned Philippines now, and look at that money rocketing up. But easy hit half a mil, half a mil, and change of 286 grand. We got wow, that is a lot of money, and unfortunately, a lot of that's got to go back to the bank. So I'm going to pay, I know, most of the loan off. Uh, say to around 600 grand mark, maybe 500. Actually, yeah, you know what? Yes, get down to a good old half a million. So, yeah, that leaves us with 87 grand left over. That ain't too bad. I'm still got things to sell, including the apple juice. So, let's go over there and have a look at. What we've got set up over there. Ah, see, so yeah, there we go. Just get it unstrapped. We'll hop into here. Basically, we need to get off this, so let's go and do this. Actually, you know what? I think what we can do with the apples. Actually, you know what? We'll just do it this way. Also, what I've gotten done is I'm also going to be. This is going to be last apples for now. We are manually transporting over because I'm going to get a local courier of sort and they will pretty much deliver apples here. There's going to be a bit of a charge though, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. So, actually, yeah, you know what? Put the times back up to times five. So, yeah, here's our Massey. Technically, it's brand new. It's pretty much the same wide tires with weights. Different car scheme doesn't have front loader. However, I sold the old front loader setup and got one thing to the John Deere we've got. And yeah, let's actually have a look of all of the apple juice we've got. So, yeah, we've got a fair bit, I would say. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20,000 litres, well, 20,500 litres of apple juice. So, we have a look, 20,500 litres. How much money does that actually equate to us? Well, a fair amount. So, if it's about four grand per thousand litres that is 80 grand and that's only for a short period of time so actually what well, ain't too bad so got a John Deere just because I thought not as a replacement of the skid steer permanently we still need skid steer for like the apples and that if we do apples again I was uh, thinking like, you know, something like this be far easier and quicker to do with an actual front loader tractor compared to the skid steer but so yeah if we go free like that the only thing I'm thinking about is the weight may need to bring yeah that's gonna need a front weight on for sure and actually I'm not even sure if it's gonna be able to even transport this so Let's go find out, shall we? So, that needs to go to the farmer's market, which is located up here, so, by the animal dealership. And it's one of these ones over here, so, if you know what, the best way to get it done is a little quick time lapse, so yeah. We'll get it done, and I'll meet you folks at the sell point. <laughs>
actually started off really well there for that time lapse, then yeah, actually got the uh, the big bad grab thing stuck in. Yeah, sort of went a bit chaotic from there, but the yeah, overall wasn't too bad, I'd say. So yeah, we got twenty-one and a half thousand litres. So let's go and see how much money we can get. So guessing about eighty grand or so. Eight grand, give or take. Yeah, making decent money we are, so yeah, you're all not too bad. 83 grand plus an additional 2 grand, I think. So 85 grand. Oh, yeah, this you just show you by what 13 quid or so. So, yeah, that is not too bad. Still got a couple more contracts we can do, but. At the moment, we need to prioritize some bits, so I think once again, do we start paying off the loan more, or do we I think I'll oh, hold on to the money for now? Yeah, I'm thinking so, so then if anything pops up in the used market, or if you want to buy another piece of land. Actually, because of how much money we've got from the field beans, is there any field bean fields? So, Go to here. Turn field beans off. So having a look just up there, I think. Yeah, this is just 86. Yep, unfortunately is only 86, so how much is that field? 101 grand. What about ooh, soybeans? Got well, one eleven, and what's that? Thirteen. Maybe, just maybe. But then again, we can maybe look at another green field. So we've got a few oats at the moment going. Is there any more oat fields? Any big ones? Number five. Or maybe even like number two muscle wheat fields. But yeah, at the moment I think we'll leave it for now. And yeah, just look at fertilizing. We need to do fertilizing on 46. That field, these three fields, and definitely this field over here because we have not put a single application of fertilizer down yet. Lovely. So weeds. Are good. Lime should be good, pretty much. Yeah. Rolled in should be fine. Most of it should be mulched. Ah, yeah. We have got that. But yeah, so we got a few things to do. And I think. Yeah, we'll squeeze at least some of it in now. And then the rest we can do in the next week of June so actually how is our animals doing at the moment as well so sheep doing good chickens plenty of food cows they're nearly out of that slightage finally so we can put some TMR in at the moment our Angus is are only 11 months old and they're worth just shy of 1500 quid our horses they're worth around 1800 quid and I think once they've run out of food we may sell them because yeah they're alright in that for a little thing but overall it's not really profitable long term but it is profitable but not on the mass scale we need to we may keep a horse here and there just for entertainment purposes but yeah, besides from that, I don't think we could do much else with the horses. I know in the next update by Auction David, which hopefully will be tested soon. Unfortunately, the Giants is a huge weakness. I'm looking forward to testing this, so. 
and even then the actual time on the disc get tested, I think it's what, two weeks? Maybe two work uh, two weeks or work days or ten work days. Give or take, so yeah. I know in the update it's gonna fix the lighting system where I think it's by the bill, is it? But things like when we get into winter, sun rises about what? 11 a.m., 10 a.m., and sets around 4 p.m. That doesn't happen, not even here in the UK, where this is based from, so. Yeah, it's slightly out skews and I think, realistically. It's like being current recording this now, what? 6 o'clock? Pretty much what I would start now, so. Yeah, there's only an hour or two's off. But even then, if it's like sunset at 4 o'clock, that's not really an issue, that yeah, depends on priority and that, the weather, the year and that, and all that other stuff, but yeah, mornings, it's never dark until 10am here in the UK, it's always daylight by 8am, 9am, yeah, I think it's about 8am it gets daylight, hard to say personally, because I'm not a morning person, I'm more of a night owl. And we did get a demand there, was that for something bells? Wasn't really paying attention to that. So we'll have a little quick look. So... Anything of interest? Uh, Pine Creek Bells is alfalfa. Is there any other high demand? Not really at the moment. As far as market, it was like F something bell, so. Unfortunately, we don't have any sugar be cut yet, so. Oh, yeah, that's a shame. But yeah, I think we'll use the Massey since it's practically the aware of that. Yeah, it's, it's a thing I did want to do, but after extensively go for all the mods and that unsoiled individual mods, find out what may be causing a crash, and yeah, the Massey was the last one I recently deleted, so it could be in the Massey clash with another mod, I think I did have a few Massey mods installed, but even then, I think on by spring, I got a few Massey mods enabled, by different modders like Blauer, Probably all the modding and a few others, so yeah, I'm not too sure on that, but anyway, this is what it is. Leave the trailer here for now whilst we do the furrows is spreading, so we shouldn't really need to wait for this. Uh, maybe get away with a small wait. Sure, why not? Why not indeed? So Maybe that's something like a ton, ton and a half. Yeah, something like that. Jet black, sure. Is it gonna re offset that? Yeah, maybe not. But again, it's that little thing on top, so. Yeah, so we get the weight hooked on. And does that make a difference? Yeah, that's it. Actually, quite double now. Maybe gone with a touch more, but overall, yeah, not too much. But you know what? With the whole loaning app, you know what? Screw it. It will pay you off. Finances. Just faffing around the tab. So yeah, let's say just show four hundred grand. Which, in fairness, at one point, I think this was like, what, two episodes ago, three episodes ago? I said the farm was in financial trouble, and it was. But yeah, combined, yeah, doing the contracts. <coughs> has definitely helped us, I ain't gonna lie on that, but... At the end of the day, we started off as contracts for business, and we pretty much, when we're desperate, we fall back onto the old faithful. We've got the equipment, more or less. Yeah, that's one thing we maybe should have done is by the way we're back, but then again, uh, I don't know. Even maybe 
you possibly need to see off the grass fields? I don't know. If we can get in more cows in, especially when the cows grow older at Stonebridge Farm, they're going to be consuming a lot. And I just realised we went past the sugar beet field, but not that. Yeah, let's just do the sugar beet field. But yeah, it is what it is now in the day. I think so. Yeah, I said, we'll start doing the fertilizing. So I think if we do the sugar beet field here, then we'll head down to do the field by the green mill and the field by 144 at the bottom left. Depending on the daylight, we may skip the green mill field and go straight to the bottom. So I think we've even got time because I think field beans, they're not ready till. September, so even if we do it in the last week of June, we'll be fine. We do need more fertilizer though, so I think there's some at the farm, but uh, yeah, we're right by the store though. Could buy another paddy if you want to. Nah, I think we'll just go to the farm or something, maybe. Oh yeah, so anyways, I'll get us done, and I'll see you folks once we're done, most likely in June 4. start here in July. We've got some more apples, about 6,000 litres, can't quite say when into the silo, but 
Williams, yep, yeah, we're going to quickly sell this, so, yep, yeah, money's gone up a bit, but also it's gone down, that's because we have leased some equipment out, because it is harvesting time, so, like we did last year, we're leasing the combine header, not buying it, there's no real financial worth of doing that, so, if we go over here to the store, we've leased a Massey, a Massey Sam series, and rather than borrowing like some of the dealership's equipment like we did last year, I'm going to just lease independently. So we've got a forage pickup and a trailer for the straw. Because we will be collecting straw. Usually the dealership ain't open early, but we've made an exception. Well, they've been an exception for us. And yep, we got the class Comview Flex 1080. This is a 10. 0.8 meter header it is absolutely massive. I mean, that is huge. But it's worth it. It's what's needed. So, and over here, we've got the combine that's ready. That's fueled up. And we've got our tractors here. So, we've got the fence with the Trans 70 trailer and our Massey with our Pro Series trailer. So, what contracts have we got available at the moment? In fairness, not many. There's a few bidding contracts which they came up earlier, not now, because those are huge contracts to do. We may squeeze them in if we can, but we've got contracts on 84 and 112. That's for oats. Both going to go to the garden center. And also we got a harvest for the seed at 119. And that's also going to the garden centre, so I think what I'll do is I'll send you up here so we got 112. So if I send you uh there. Ah, it needs to be on the road, so you want to go right here so there we go now it works uh, and then see we won't get any straw but we'll send you in a moment we'll take this ourselves so yeah that's going and we go to the combine there we go so yeah I want to send that up but then again I don't think the workers going to be able to, to manoeuvre this up, especially with the fence in the way. Let's move the fence out of the way, shall we? May not need the transformity. Actually, I'll send that to our farm because we are also going to harvest our own crop, so let's do that. So I'm going to send. Just a bit more of a wider berth. I think the Trans Empty is a huge trailer and it just about fits us. Uh, so I want to send that, send that somewhere there. Because, yeah, if we have a look at the map, go to our crops, and our wheat is ready to harvest. So is our barley, and so are our oats. And these are barley fields. Yeah, they're going to be ready in August because we planted them late. Which, in fairness, I don't mind. So, I'll try the worker. I know it's going to have problems. No. I'll try the combine, but, but even then, that's going to have issues. I know it's going to have issues. But, anyway, as well give it a go issues even even the bloody yard that's the thing this is huge equipment it barely fits I mean like that, that's an awkward three point turn but that's the thing the size of the farm right now we can have either multiple combines on the go of a small capacity or one big one so yeah I'm gonna risk it I'll send you there and I'll drive the combine over, so... 
There's a convoy. There we go. So yeah. No. Not the convoy, the trader. There we go. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over, get things all set up, and I'll meet you folks at field 112. And there we go, so yeah, here we are. On something, so yeah, I think we've got decent turning. So let's do this. There we go. We'll go and hook up the header. Trigger is here already. That is good. So this is Lindsay's right 112. Actually, I think we'll shut the gate and give us a bit more space to. Turn around. There we go. So yeah, one twelve. What's that? Oh, it's out. So we can do one twelve. Either take it straight to the garden center, and then go to eight four and do that, which I think we will. Makes most sense. Since we'll be already on the route. Unless we had to head south through center three and all that, and around. But yeah, got a few options for us. But yeah, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. What you want to make sure is Shrew Swath is on. So if we can get Shrew, turn on the combine. Everything's looking good. And we are underway. The first harvest of the year, and yeah, it's going to be contracts, I think. What we'll do is, the first half of July, we will at least do contracts. But then over time, as we head into August now, we will prioritise our own fields. Because, yeah, we need to at the end of the day. Actually, in fairness, we may at least a second combine to help us out here. We have one combine doing the farm work. Another combine to do contracts now. Maybe that's a possibility, but who knows? So, yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it today. So, yeah, next time we'll be doing harvesting, contract work, and all sorts. I may even actually, what is that? Automatically saving, didn't mean to do that. But, yeah, we may do like the main contracts now at some point if they stay up long enough. Because, yeah, that would be nice, especially using like the Chrome Big M. Technically, borrow the equipment, use a Chrome, and then we can at least a wind rower in and that and get all that sorted. Yeah, I think we'll do that with those. Another size contract. And yeah, the reason why we haven't paid the loan back because also we need green mail, that's about 120 grand, so we'll do that. I doubt we'll be able to keep much out, so we'll bust the props and we'll go straight to sell them. And then when we do our own fields, we will, of course, buy the green meal for the props in there. But yeah, so anyways, that's it. That's what we're going to leave today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed yet, then please consider. But, what you to do? Hope you're nice day, but for now, it's farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.